don't know how to make this fit. See, if I have enough energy, the, the, the problem with this one is it gets used every time something passes it. Now, over time, it can make things ridiculously powerful in a long battle. But right now, it's not going to work that way for us. It's actually going to work against us. But it's too, too good not to keep hold of. So I'm going to shed one of my gems for now. Uh, my mana stones for now. This is for when we have a means of generating large amounts of energy per, per circuit. I do, but it's, it's a matter of fine. Oh, there we are. We can place it over there. Because the thing with this is, again, it uses one energy every cycle, every time it gets passed. It it isn't like these ones where they only use one energy once because it can only be used once a, a turn. This would drop our DPS enormously, initially. It would take a few turns for this to spin up. And then, again, in a, in a war of attrition, this, will, this would win the fight for us. Like, hands down, quite comfortably win it all. But you need time. So I think we need to get to a point where we've got a, a system where we've got a circuit that just generates more and more energy over time. Then that can be played. Good enough. Uh, there's nothing here really for us. I'm going to get rid of the charger. It's super useful. This is the annoying thing. But right now it's just taking up room in my inventory. It's going to be a long time until we level up again. Yeah, I know there were dice. The reason why I didn't want to use the dice is I I didn't know if I put that up there and then use the dice whether it would re-roll this as well. And I've got nothing that I want to throw away. Oh, well, actually, I could have done it with this, realistically. Thinking about it, that, that would have been a completely uh, reasonable thing to throw away. Rerolls everything, even things you've taken. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Okay. I'll bear that in mind. So it's only useful if there is nothing you want to take and you're going to reroll everything immediately. Uh, yeah, we are going to sell it. I'll just get a little bit more cash. And make a little bit more room for something to be put in there. Uh, how about we remove you now? I lost some good loot that way. Thank you very much for giving us a uh, heads up on that one. Uh, 
glove for each space to the left. This item gets plus 0 0.5 block. May as well. Just give us a little bit more protection in the first round. Instantly up to 10. So in the first round, we generated 10 blocks. And then it went up to 45, but that was because of this. Now up to 16 block. This is just so amazing. Oh. Um. Well, that's an interesting one, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Damn. Uh, where do we go from here? I guess that works. Like so. But then we don't have that connecting them anymore. That one will work. Oh, actually, no. We now have both of them connected. Okay, uh, that works, definitely. Uh, I could take that, but uh, no. I could, but I had no. Okay, finish choosing. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, look. From the darkness, he emerges a fox. His tail flicks beneath his cloak. You won't make much of a meal, he says. But a high price your body will fetch. Be ye friend or foe? Be we friend or foe, chat? Fight. Friend. Friend fight? Fight. It's fox. Of course, friend. Friend, friend, beep boop. Do be friend. Do be friend with Anita. What? Foe to Fox. Fox is his friend. The fox is already dead. <laughs> Seems shady. <laughs> also, pet him. I'm a friend. He nods and steps aside to let you pass. Your tail twitches instinctively. You're lucky he let you live. Don't make me regret it. Uh, friend, let's join a cult. <laughs> Poyand. It is free loot, it's also free e EXP. But I believe there is only one type of loot you get from killing the fox, and that is the fox's rapier. Which doesn't actually work for us. Friend for a sec. Nah. We're not going to take on the fox, we don't need to. See, the annoying thing here is that, strictly speaking, once we have these three tiles done, we can set a loop rather than a, a bounce. We can just have it go in a circuit. Round and round she goes. What's the difference between the elbow tubes? Uh, this is just a pure rotator. This one can I can flip a switch manually. And then there's also ones which will flip automatically every time they're used. Chat, you're lucky I'm, I'm so patient with you. Gave up good EXP because of that, folks. Uh, I could drop this in exchange for it and just hold on to it. Because ultimately we'd need four of them. Yeah. Alright, let's have a look. Hello! 
The Blade Master. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to kill you. <laughs> I hate to die. Adds four spikes to enemy. <laughs> That's not going to affect me. I came knowing of your tricksiness. My lord, the amount of poison. 72 poison already. <laughs> you can't do any damage because I've weakened you so much. I'm surprised you can block at all, frankly. Never mind, you can't. Honestly, do I even need to heal out? Not now. But maybe later, yeah. All right, let's have a look. All weapons get this effect. For each adjacent gem, this item gets plus three damage. Mm. Uh, all bows get this effect. On use, the first arrow in each row to the right gets 150% bonus damage. All arrows get this effect. If there is an adjacent item, this item is disabled. <laughs> This is for your one arrow build, you know? <laughs> Worst item ever! Also, this is kind of garbage because I'm not going to be able to put it anyway. Oh, it actually uh, says to bows. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I was thought we were being really sneaky. It's like, aha, plus one energy to weapons. Eh? Well, we don't use our weapons. Our weapons are the arrows. We use a bow, which happens to fire our weapons for us for the low, low price of one energy. But no, it, it does actually increase the cost of the bows as well, which would be bad. Uh, I guess the ore is the one to go for then. Um... Yeah. Take that. Uh, these ones gain a bit of extra. That's up to eight damage now, which is quite nice. That's not a gem, so it doesn't affect it. That's a gem, and this is a gem, so it doesn't really affect much. I'll probably sell it, if I'm perfectly honest. On use, create a herb. Again, it's only going to create a one tile item, so that's not actually going to help us at all. Sadly. Nothing there that we want. Yeah, the corner is a gem. It's a, a ruby rotator. Hey, you Yuka Finn. Oh, wow. Well, this is awkward. Poisonous, dangerous. Keep a, them away from planes. Very well, I'll do my best. Well, for knights, you are dying shockingly fast, I'm going to be honest with you. Let's pop that there. Does damage equal to your current block? Removes 50% of all block on self. With a haste build, that could become absolutely ridiculous. I mean, crossbows were the first night killer ranged weapon before guns came around. I mean, you're right. Like, that's not a bad... Yeah, you, you raise a valid point there. I will confess, you, you have some... Hmm. Okay. 
I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. It didn't affect this, so there we go. Now we know. Wow. If this one wasn't so amazing, I would take this one as well. Because that adds two mana to the connected network. Which means every turn, it adds two mana back in. Now, it's not as useful for our kind of build as a like a, an item which adds mana because it's been activated in exchange for like one energy. The Necronomicon, for example, will poison all enemies. Um, a book, if you put one energy in, it'll generate mana. The mana um, re uh, reverser will do the same. Those are more useful for the kind of build we're making, but this is actually quite, quite, quite impressive in its own right. But we're finished. There's nothing for us to grab there. A heavy grinder. I mean, you know, it's nice, but again, it's heavy, so it's less, less uh, useful for us, less flexible. We're fighting the king. Reminds me of the king from Armello. The fact that this applies poison to everything is just ridiculous. Nothing really there of value to us. Right, what can we do here? Two spikes to a shield, one energy to clothing, not useful. Three slow to enemy to a weapon. Is that the slow one? Which one's the slow one? I can't tell. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. We're now adding quite a lot of slow to our enemies. So they they are forbidden from using block. They are also forbidden from using um, weapons. And forbidden from being alive. Thanks to our rather eclectic assortment of arrows. I'm almost tempted to take it. If I had room for it, I absolutely... Well, I could get rid of the leather boots, I suppose. Um, because when we expand this out, that's the sort of thing we're going to need room for. I am actually kind of tempted. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna shed it. I'm just holding on to it for now. Hi. You're probably gonna be able to apply your poison, so this is where the the cleansing rag is gonna come into play. Place a normal arrow just to get the extra slot. Uh, yeah, actually, it could. <clears throat> there we go. Another golden cleaver. I mean, by doing that, though, I lose the fact that that arrow was both applying weak and poison. It's whether it matters enough to me, I suppose. I need those two together.
What level are we on? I'll bring the key with me. Let's see. Hello, Kadokus. My, my. Your eclectic assortment of arrows makes me all a quiver. Oh, my lord. No! <laughs> uh, why would you do this to me? Now, I think, I think I'm going to stick with the larger arrow so that it applies more effects. Yeah. What I could do is that, though. Because an extra arrow applying, you know, a ramping amount of poison is going to be better than an egg, one other arrow. Oh, sorry, one less arrow, but two arrows applying fire. Because the ramping poison is our snowball, not not the steady fire. I really like your slime sword disposal factory. I know, it's quite, quite uh, functional, I feel. I'm very happy with it also. Right, we gotta get to th Oh, pardon me. I almost did not mute in time for that sneeze. Wow. Hey, oh, Silent Psychopath. Thank you very much for the three months. But yeah, we've got to get through two enemies to be able to get to the shop. That's fine, though. We may well level up again as well. Now, when we level up, chat, this is the question. Do we go for the circular loop or do we go for adding more length to this? Because that really is the question there. Wow, we didn't even manage to get through their, their block, but we still poisoned them to death. I think we go for the, the circuit. Now we need to get a few things. We need a rotator to be able to make the loop. And at that point, that's it, the loop is made. Um, I can pick that up, me as well. Uh, no reason not to, I suppose. Well, actually, yes, there is. There is a reason not to. There's no way to place that. Uh, I could just pick that one up just so that we got it. Um. That's rare. So I'll bring that along just to sell. Hello. Years of training, but no match for a magical backpack. That, it is true. This is going to have so far to travel back to the defense. Actually, I could make that even better. Fairly easy. I deny your meager flames. Some chonky uh, spells there. All right, so 
Let's move things around a little bit. Like so. There we go. Let's test, make sure everything's working. Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Craig doesn't have a backpack as much as a long case clock on the back. Uh, I mean, it's kind of true. I mean, basically, the, what you're looking at, right, Crate is like a snail, okay? What you see as Crate is merely Crate's foot. Most of Crate's organs are in the backpack. The backpack is, is Crate's snail shell. And the vast majority of the critical components of Crate are in that. The stuff on the front is just mimicry to, a, to look like the rest of the, the humanoid creatures that walk around so that it, it can blend in with them. The bolt is out of the crossbow line. Oh, you're quite right. Quite, quite right. Drat. Doesn't help. Is there a way for me to make that work? I don't think there is. I'll just shift it up like that. There we go. That works. Please, I have an active imagination. This is horror. Good. By the way, on completely unrelated notes, I, I'm absolutely loving my new uh, Junjo, uh, Junji Ito novel at the moment. Absolutely loving it. My wallet is not loving every time I go into the bookstore. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I would like to order another hardback. Yes, yes, I know. Yeah, got you. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Do I have anything to sell? Yes, maybe. This is where you can make something very powerful with a charger. So powerful, in fact, I am really tempted to just buy this and hold on to it. And in case we get the opportunity to use it. Hey, Belial. How you doing, buddy? Uh, let's go and see what this is. No. What was this one? Also, no. I'm not going to take a curse for no reason. I mean, the thing is, the curse could sit in front of my grinder and thus get ground up, but there's no guarantee that that will... Um... Oh, God. So many poisons! So many! Uh... 
I would want this beneath the explosive arrow. That's now eight damage to all enemies. It's less of a backpack, and it's more of a bolt-shooting Rube Goldberg machine. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of true. That is, that is a very fair assessment of the current design, yes. I kind of want to sell that, actually. Yeah, let's go s sell that relic. It, it's, not, it's not really useful to me. Money, though. Money is super useful to me. Is there anything else that isn't really useful to me? Probably. Uh, let's go and see what we can get over here. There we go. We've now got our circuit. Which means we no longer need this. Side for now. Yeah, this is now a much more capable circuit. As we can see. It's at this point that it's starting to become a possibility to move this whetstone into the rotation. reason why I've moved this over here is if I got a 2x2 two two curse, I could sacrifice my slime sword for it and this mana, but if I had my money over there, I'd be very disinclined to do that. Uh, actually, I could rotate these around and that would still then allow me to have the three charge there. There we go. Functionally more or less the same thing as it was before. But we haven't yet found the really, really... The, the the booster if we can find a booster then this becomes a this starts moving into the territory of this might actually become a um, petrol engine machine 